Well, today we'll be diving into all about the speckled trout, also known as Cynocean nebulosus, and how they are being overfished, how it's being prevented, and why we should be concerned about them. The speckled trout is a sought after game fish here in the Galveston Bay. They appear long and slender, and silver in color, and can even have purple tint with black spots along the back. These trout have yellow mouths and sharp front teeth to eat their prey, and their diet consists of small bait fish or crustaceans. Due to a spike in recreational fishing since 2020, these fish have taken a decline in numbers over the years. These creatures contribute about $1.3 billion to the Texas coastal economy, which plays a vital role in people's everyday lives. One of the main issues affecting speckled trout is overfishing. It causes a significant change in the biodiversity of our coastal environment, while also affecting our Gulf Coast charters and recreational fishing, which generates billions of dollars a year for the Texas coast. If we keep catching these fish in the high amount that we are, it could ruin the population density here in the Gulf Coast, which is why there must be restrictions on the amount of trout you can catch. The Texas Park and Wildlife Department has recently intensified the restrictions when it comes to speckled trout. The old restrictions were you could catch five in a day with ranging from 15 to 25 inches. The newer restrictions are you can have a bag limit of three per day between 15 to 20 inches with the accepting oversized trout of 30 inches. So when you catch your trout, you're gonna to wanna to put the face to the very front of the board and put the tail as far as it goes down. And this one's about 11 and a quarter. Here's a sand trout, doesn't have any uh, specks so they don't have a limit on these, so we're gonna release them. All right, howdy, my name is Blaine Dixon, and I'm here with... I'm Shane Stevens. And I'm just gonna go ahead and ask him a couple questions on the new trout regulations. Um, do you fish for speckled trout? Yeah, so uh, I fish for speckled trout um, for a bunch of years. Me and my dad would go out in the summers, um, and I've done a little bit of it for research capacity as well. Nice. Do you know what the new regulations are? Yeah, so this year the biggest change, um, there is a slight reduction in the size for the fish that you can retain, but then there's also a reduction in the bag limit, and that was the big change. So now going from five trout that you can retain when fishing, it's gone to three. Um, and so previously that was just on the southern coast of Texas, but now it's coastwide. Cool. Um, do you eat any of the speckled trout that you catch? I do, yeah. Um, it's one of the few fish that I eat pretty regularly on the coast. Um, and so it's a function of where I catch them too, though I'm pretty specific about um, where I harvest my fish in the, in the different bays. Nice, and then do you think these new regulations will help with the, the new biodiversity of a speckled trout in the Gulf? Yeah, I think um, in terms of if the regulations will help, I, I do. Um, you know, we see that there's increasing fishing pressure every year, so more fishing license being sold in Texas. Um, and so with that, you have more people fishing. Uh, I've seen a lot of small trout um, as of the last few years and so I think by changing the regulations and forcing us to keep some of the smaller trout and letting the bigger brood stock go um, that you might see some larger fish in the system as well. Nice. Um, do you think there's any other methods that can help with that like biodiversity? Um, well I think in terms of helping uh, the population of speckled trout especially here in Galveston I think one of the big things is uh, your catch and release practices um, with a reduced bag limit more people are going to practice catch and release and it's important to keep in mind how you handle those fish when you're catching them so be sure to wet your hands before you're handling them outside of the water um, not to damage the gills in any way when you're holding them and that way it gives them a better chance of surviving if you can't keep them all right thank you yep thank you so much yeah, thank you trout regulations that have affected Texas. So do you uh, consume your speckled trout when you catch them? Yeah. And what are your opinions now that the bag has re reduced from five to three and the size limit has been reduced by five inches? Um, it doesn't bother me as bad as a lot of folks because I only take home and eat when I have a freezer anyway. So the, it doesn't bother me as there's a lot of people plenty upset, and there's a lot of people saying they won't fish as much because why? But actually, I prefer the the 
I think the trout need to catch up a little bit, actually. And uh, what other methods or policies do you think need to be implemented to bring back the population? Uh, just ethical fishing.